What's up everybody, this is Suheel with Angelus Brand and today I'm going to show you how to uncage these triple white booths into these beasts. Yo. Alright guys, so the first part of the video here, we're going to be taking this uh, Adidas Triple White Ultra Boost and I'm going to show you guys how to uncage it. What uncaging means is basically taking off this, uh, the three stripes or the plastic portion of the actual Adidas. Before I even start uncasing anything, let's unlace. Now we got some room to work. Usually what I do is I try to make sure that the shoe is stable. I'll duck it underneath my chin and I'll get at that first guy and just very gently cut it. There we go, got the first one down and just continue across the line very carefully and also pulling the tab at the same time. Second part, what you need to do is take your razor blade and very gently cut an incision going down through here. So when I'm starting to actually get into this, I look for the exact point where I can start to bust this guy open without hurting the boost. The boost material, guys, is very soft, by the way, so just want to be very careful when you're cutting this area. So now what I'm doing, guys, is I've kind of solidified exactly where the incision is. And I'm just poking a little bit deeper in there to try to loosen up the actual cage portion of the Ultra Boost. All I'm doing here, guys, is just following the, the line here where the Ultra Boost piece is here. And I'm getting it at an angle so I don't poke into the shoe. You want to poke down and away from the actual upper so you don't damage the upper. Uh, I'm going to just grab the razor blade here and just very slowly start, my, start to cut an incision on the inside and see if we could pull, pull this piece away. There we go. This is the, the finished product of what it looks like uncaged. Uh, next what we're going to work on is actually uh, customizing the guys this is a perfect uh, platform for customizing. Since it's summertime, let's let's do some more um, neons. I'm gonna do a Tahitian pink in the back, and I'm also going to lace the inside with a Tahitian pink as well. But before I start airbrushing that stuff, guys, I gotta mask off the parts that uh, I don't want to have touched. I recommend using this red tape, and the reason why is it's it's very flexible, but more importantly, it really locks in and keeps all of the overspray from the airbrush away. And I'm very careful for lacing the, the tape out exactly where the boost material is. And then using my fingernail just to lock in any pockets or holes that might have been left behind, okay? This masking tape, guys, is very sticky, so just be careful when you're using it on knit shoes like this because if it stays on for too long what ends up happening is sometimes it'll leave the residue behind and you don't want for that to happen so I would say don't even be afraid to go a little bit over I would rather tape up a little bit higher and then have to repaint this portion just on the bottom that I missed rather than getting the paint on my ultra boost material and having to try to wipe that off later on. For the rest of the boost material, I'm just going to use uh, a cheaper tape that I have here because, you know, why waste material when you don't need to? So guys, I'm going to be starting with the sock liner first. 
Uh, with the sock liner, I'm gonna be using a uh, half Tahitian pink, and then I'll be using half two socks. So uh, let's get started. After you've painted the actual sock liner and you've given it a chance to dry, what we need to do is hit it with a heat gun for about three to five minutes and uh, you let that paint actually settle in and soak into the, the fabric and it, it'll heat set, it'll stay in there for good, okay? And it'll keep the soft texture that it originally had, so. What we've done now is we've prepped this guy here, at least the back portion, the back tabs with Adhesion Promoter first uh, before hitting the uh, Ultra Boost back tab up. So now that it's cured, it's dried, uh, let's continue to uh, work with that Tahitian pink. So uh, I'm adding two hard and Tahitian pink together. Uh, again, one to one ratio. By the way, let me add a little bit of duller just to give that finished effect that I like. I like to have a nice dulled out look to it at the end. You know, whenever you have a plastic piece, uh, it's, it's just harder for paint to stick on it. Uh, that's what Too Hard helps you with. It, it actually helps for the bond between the plastic and your paint to be stronger. I'm basically taking some Vachetta. I'm taking some caramel just to lighten up the Vachetta a little bit, give it some vibrance. So before I mix it, we gotta add some Too Soft, because again, we're doing a fabric. Again, try to stay away from going against the grain of the tape. You wanna kinda creep from behind it. One coat in, this is uh, again, Vachetta and Caramel, combined with Too Soft. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a chance to dry off a little bit, uh, cure a little bit, and then we'll hit it with another layer, okay? Uh, we'll hit it with maybe about two or three layers, whatever we're comfortable with to make sure that it's completely uh, saturated and concrete. There's, there's a consistency of, of the color, and then we'll go ahead and finish off by painting up the, the back side, okay? We're about to do a tiger print on this. This is gonna be a, like a 550 Yeezy inspired boost. Um, so I'm just gonna mess around and, you know, honestly, I'm just freestyling this. So whatever comes about is what the final product will be. And the reason why you draw, a, a drawing a thin line in in the beginning is it gives you a good guideline of what, where the line is kind of centered and then you can thicken up the line thereafter, so. This is my first time uncaging an Ultra Boost. Actually, this is my first custom on Ultra Boost. Uh, this is my first time actually uncaging it, and this is gonna be my first time lacing it too. So, uh, you know, with that said, I got a couple of laces here, and what I'm going to try to replicate today is this Yeezy style lace. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna just try to make my own notch. The way I'm gonna do that today, guys, is I'm just gonna use this little X-Acto guy here, and I'm gonna take an estimate of where I think it should be at. Always a good idea before you start poking holes to really make sure that you're in the right spot that you wanna get this guy in, so. Very gently. All right, let's throw it through, guys. Okay. Let's continue along the lines now. This is your Ultra Boost Uncaged. It has a 550 Adidas customization to it. It's got a 350 uh, relace to it. You guys learned a little bit about deconstruction today. If you guys appreciate the video, you know, please hit like. But more importantly, give us some comments. Let us know what you guys want to see next. But with that said, uh, this is Suheel with Angela's Shoe Polish. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Peace.